The race to Mars continues. In a major move intending to set itself ahead of all competition, including Russia and the United States, China just announced that it's planning to send its first crewed missions to Mars by the year 2033. Not only that, but the country also wants to build a permanent station on that red planet, and has four more missions scheduled there after its first trip in 2033. Just like that, China made a huge statement and has ratcheted up the stakes of the modern space race. You can bet every other country on Earth is jealous and scratching their heads about how they can surpass China and beat them to Mars. Even SpaceX has announced plans to visit the Red Planet, but they are known for having small setbacks that could delay their own mission by a few years. China's latest announcement will surely give fuel to the fire for not only the US but also other countries as well. The head of state-owned China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology laid out the grand plans this week at a space conference in Russia. The bombshell announcement comes just weeks after China launched its very own rover and landed it on Mars. That feat made them the second country to have a presence on Mars, right behind the US which sent a slew of remote-controlled robots to the Martian surface. Since China is revealing their intentions, right after they landed the rover, people are taking it quite seriously. Clearly, China knows what it takes to travel through space and have it successfully arrive on Mars. It's not too far-fetched to imagine them sending their very own astronauts up there too. But in just a little more than a decade, 2033 isn't that far off. How much work will this take for China to make their own deadline? The country's got it all figured out, according to them. Firstly, they're going to focus on landing robots on Mars in order to explore the planet's surface, study it and help decide the best place to begin establishing a base for explorers. After the robot's journeys are complete, China will then begin to focus on its first manned mission to the Red Planet. As stated, they're penciling in 2033 as the year that dreams come true. While it's the biggest part of their plans right now, it certainly isn't the end of it. China planned to start building a station on Mars after its first trip there in 33. Immediately after that, the country wants to begin large-scale cargo missions to and from Mars. To show just how serious they are about their travels, China has scheduled more trips to Mars for the years 2035, 37, 41, and 2043. The plan is that China will continue to enhance and improve their flying capabilities and space tech, meaning that each trip will be a huge step forward for Chinese astronauts and their space agency. China is adamant about the fact that their time in space and on Mars will make them even more capable and knowledgeable, leaving out other countries in the dust when it comes to flying through the stars. Obviously, China's plans are impressive and perhaps a bit daunting. The country has a long road ahead of it, but it has always made some massive, incredible strides in the last few years to show that they are very serious about leapfrogging over America and other countries to become the most successful country in space. Not only did the country recently land that rover on the face of Mars, they also have started construction on a permanent space station. In April 2021, China launched what will become the first living quarters for three crew members in their upcoming station. The recently launched module, endearingly named Harmony of the Heavens, is just the beginning of the massive space endeavor that China plans to have finished by the end of 2022. If China follows through on these plans and really does complete their station, they will have already done something that no one else has creating an amazing piece of history. The first to rival the International Space Station, which is backed by the US, Russia, Japan, Europe and Canada. China has always been barred from participating in the International Space Station, and many see their plan as a way to get back at the nations that prohibited them from joining in on the ISS. In June 2021, China took things a step forward when they launched their first astronauts to their self-made space station. The three astronauts were sent out of Earth's atmosphere as China prepared for the 100th year anniversary of the Communist Party in a sign of strength and progress for all the world to see. It was the first time that China sent a manned mission to space and to the stars since 2016 and was made as China doubled down on its commitment to space travel. China's president has consistently said that his nation is dedicated to advancing science in the latest cutting-edge ways. He has said that Chinese scientists are going to spend the next few decades evolving science, medicine, computer tech, and of course, the ability to travel through space. Just months before, in December 2020, 
China sent a spacecraft to the moon, so that it could carry back lunar samples. That made China only the third country to retrieve such samples, behind the US and Russia back in the 60s and 70s. There are obviously many examples of China rushing into the space race. A manned journey to Mars would be their biggest feat yet, and would actually be the most spectacular move by humans yet. That's because not only would it be further from the Earth than the Moon, but the science behind a Mars landing would take an awful amount of work. Yes, the journey for Chinese astronauts will be a trust test of endurance, but China swears that it could create a round-trip ride that would only last hundreds of days. The country is yet to show how they will be able to make that possible, considering that it's a very optimistic timetable. However, there are more challenges related to a trip to Mars that China's got to address. Any manned mission to Mars will need to use the planet's resources to keep their astronauts healthy and breathing. Not only will a Mars expedition need to generate its own oxygen, but it will also need to extract water from below the planet's surface, and will also need to have some sort of technology that will grant them the ability to launch from the Martian surface as their trip back to our little blue planet begins. There has been long discussions about using the Mars planet as a tool rather than just as a destination. It is possible to create scientific devices that will create air for the brave astronauts. Indeed, that sort of technology will need to be perfected before China, or any country, makes it to Mars. And the challenges of a return trip from the Red Planet have always been the trickiest part of traveling to it. A distance that long means that whoever gets to Mars first needs to have some sort of plan to get their men and women back. It isn't as easy as just flying to the moon, and definitely far harder than sending people into orbit. If China is serious about getting their astronauts to Mars, they better have a better, solid, functional, and safe way of getting them back too. China's announcement that it plans to have its astronauts arrive on Mars by 2033 is a huge deal, no doubt about it. A concrete year. Even though it's more than a decade away, it's a monumental step in the exploration of space. America's very own NASA can't even commit to a solid year for its own Mars journey, only stating that it plans to send astronauts that way in the 2030s at some point. Even if China doesn't make its timetable, the science is currently developing, and the plan it is making will shake up other countries and has the chance to get them to work overtime to catch up. America was the first country on the moon. There is no chance it wants to be surpassed and beaten in its race to Mars. As for Russia, it has been hoping to push past both countries and conquer space in ways no one else has. These are just two of the nations that will hear China's news and immediately begin thinking of ways to outdo it. Mars has always been the next step in space travel. For decades now, countries all over the globe have looked up to the Red Planet and seen it as a great prize needed to be won. For a long time, it seemed like America was destined to become the first country to plant their flag on the Martian surface. Now, that isn't so sure. China has big plans, and it will have something else that is vital when it comes to making it to Mars. China has the will to do whatever it takes to make it happen.